In this video we're going to show you the common issues when setting up a MIG welder. We're going to show you what happens when your voltage and your wire feed speed are set too high or too low and the kind of problems this causes in your welds. So we're starting off with 22.2 volts and 3 wire speed. So on all of these welds we're going to do a T-fillet on a 3mm plate using argon CO2 mixed gas and 1mm wire. We're struggling to keep the pull formation. This is due to the low wire feed in relation to the voltage. This gives us far too much heat and it sounds like a popping sound and that's the first indication that something in our settings isn't right. So with that complete you can see the top edge has been chewed away due to lack of wire. We've created a load of undercut. And then we repeated this weld and we slowed our travel speed down which then created less undercut but we still had a really hot weld. So that didn't go well so let's change it up and let's think about it. We'll smash more wire on and go to 12.5 wire speed and we'll drop that voltage down because we thought oh it's a bit hot and then all hell broke loose we were struggling to maintain a constant well pull we got far too much wire it's far too cold it's spattering like the flipping heavens have opened and it sounds like hail on a tin roof So with that run coming to the end we can see we've got a lack of fusion and it looks like a big snarly angry mess that's been welded by someone with their eyes shut or my mate Dave who can't weld. Sorry Dave. So now we're going to change up to 23 volts and 13 wire speed and as you can hear we've got a much crisper sounding weld with these settings but we still seem to have quite a lot of spatter. This tells us that we still potentially have got a little bit too much wire on for our voltage. So as you can see here we've got lack of fusion on the bottom edge and our profile is quite convex and not flat which would indicate a lack of penetration as well. So based on the issues from our previous welds we've now adjusted our settings to 20 volts and a wire speed of 6. As you can hear we've achieved that crisp consistent crackle that indicates the MIG welder is running correctly. This tells us our settings are correct, we're maintaining a 45 degree torch angle and a steady travel speed. As you will see shortly the results are significantly improved. The weld profile is flat with solid fusion so in conclusion weld like this, not like Dave. Sorry Dave. If you've run into similar welding issues, let us know in the comments below. Sharing what worked for you might help someone else out. If you're figuring things out, we hope this video gave you some direction. Don't forget to subscribe for more welding tips and check out the video on screen now for more welding do's and don'ts. See you in the next one.